welcome to the bachelor course of physical education today in this lecture we will be discussing about sprints and now let us see what is sprint sprints introduction sprinting is a type of running in which the participant runs the entire distance at near maximum speed it differs from fast running in that longer the number of strides per second is greater and the force of the driving leg against the ground is less in other words it is an all out effort by which the contestant to move as fast as his over the indicated distance in as short a time as possible sprint also called dash in athletics track and field a foot race over a short distance with an all out or nearly all out burst of speed the chief distance is being 100 200 and 400 meters and 100 220 and 440 yards the course for sprint races is usually marked off in lanes within which each runner must remain for the entire race originally sprinters used a standing start but after 1884 sprinters started from a crouched position using a device called starting block it was legalized in 1930s to brace their feet races are begin by a pistol shot at 55 to 65 meters that is 60 to 70 yards top sprinters attain maximum speed more than 40 km per hour that is 25 miles per hour after the 65 meter mark the runner begins to lose speed through fatigue all important international races at 200 meters and 220 yards as well as at 400 meters and 440 yards are run on an oval track the starts are staggered the lanes farther from the center being progressively farther forward on the track so that each runner will cover an equal distance as a result the competitors particularly in the 400 meters and the 440 yards have no exact knowledge of the respective positions until they have completed the final turn great emphasis is therefore placed on an athlete's ability to judge his own pace as well as upon his speed and endurance the sprints include the following track events 100 meters 200 meters 400 meters 4 into 100 meter relay and the 4 into 400 meter relay although the sprints are events in themselves the ability to sprint is an important weapon in the athlete's armory for many track and field events and many sports now we will discuss the sprint technique guidance on the sprint technique takes the form of a checklist for each phase of the sprint of points for the coach to monitor The information provided here is for athletes using the starting blocks. Pre-race start. Blocks correctly positioned in the lane that is 200 meters or 400 meters at a tangent to the curve. Correct distances from the start line to the front and rear blocks. Foot blocks at the correct angles. Blocks firmly located in the track. athlete relaxed and focused on the race on your marks feet correctly located in the blocks fingers behind the line fingers form a high bridge hands evenly positioned slightly wider than the shoulder width shoulders back and vertically above or slightly forward of the hands arms straight but not locked at the elbows head and neck in line with the spine eyes focused on the track 1 to 2 meters ahead gentle breathing face and neck muscles relaxed sit hold the breath hips rise slowly to a position above the shoulders head and neck in line with the spine eyes focused on the track 1 or 2 meters ahead shoulders vertically above or slightly forward of the hands 
front leg knee angle approximately 90 degrees rear leg knee angle approximately 120 degrees feet pushed hard back into the blocks b of the bang exhale drive the arms hard extend the whole body so there is a straight line through the head spine and extended rear leg body approximately 45 degrees angle to the ground eyes focused on the track 2 to 3 meters run out of the blocks do not step or jump out of the blocks drive face 0 to 30 meters drive the back leg forward keeping the heel low until the shin is approximately 45 degrees to the ground and then drive to the foot down see pitcher to the right Hitting the ground just behind the body's center of mass. Over the next 7 to 8 strides, approximately 10 meters, the angle of the shin of the front leg before it is driven down will increase by 6 to 7 degrees per stride. So that by the 7 to 8 stride, the shin is vertical. Over the first 7 to 8 strides, the whole body angle will increase from 45 degrees to approximately 30 degrees approximately 2 degree per step after the first 7 8 strides you will be approximately 70% of your maximum velocity eyes focused on the track to keep low to allow the build up of speed forward lean of the whole body with a straight line through the head spine and extended rear leg face and neck muscles relaxed no tension shoulders held back and relaxed square in lane at all times arms move with a smooth forward backward action not across the body drive back with elbows hands move from approximately shoulder height to hips elbows maintained at 90 degrees Angle between upper arm and lower arm. Hands relaxed. Fingers loosely curled. Thumbs uppermost. Legs fully extended. Rear leg pushing off the track with toes. Drive the leg forward with a high knee action. With the knee pointing forward and with the heel striking under the back side. Not the back of the back side as the knee is low and pointing down to the ground. Extend lower leg forward of knee. Rear leg drive will propel the foot forward of the knee with toes turned up. Drive the foot down in a claw action with the ball of foot or toe. Strike on the track vertically below the knee. Pull the ground under you into a full rear leg extension. Elbow drive assisting the whole action. On the ball of the foot or toes at all times, feet pointing forward straight down the lane. Elbow drive commences just before the rear leg drive. Fast leg action, good stride length, allowing continual acceleration. Appearance of being smooth and relaxed, but driving hard with elbows and legs. The drive is maintained for the first 20 to 30 meters approximately 16 to 17 strides at the end of which the body is tall with a slight forward lean at the end of this phase you will be approximately 90 percent of your maximum velocity stride phase 30 to 60 meters smooth transitions from drive phase to stride phase eyes focused at the end of the lane tunnel vision Head in line with the spine, held high and square, face relaxed, no tension, mouth relaxed, chin down, not out, shoulders held down, long neck, back, not haunched, relaxed and square in the lane at all the times. Smooth forward backward action of the arms, not across the body, drive back with elbows, brush vest with elbows hands move from shoulder height to hips for men 
and from burst height to hips for the ladies. Elbows held at 90 degrees at all the times. Angle between upper arm and lower arm. Hands relaxed, fingers loosely curled, thumb uppermost. Hips tucked under. Slight forward rotation of the hip with forward leg drive to help extend the stride. Legs fully extended, rear leg pushing off the track with the toes. Drive the leg forward with a high knee action, with the knee pointing forward and with the heel striking under the backside. Not the back of the backside as the knee is low and pointing to the ground. Extend lower leg forward off knee. Rear leg drive will propel the foot forward of the knee with toes turned up. Stepping over the knee of the lead leg, drive the foot down in a claw action with the ball of foot or toe strike on the track just behind the body center of mass. Pull the